Under acute drought conditions, the state mostly dependent on rainwater is now facing an extreme water shortage. As a result, production of food grains and pulses has fallen drastically. As a part of our special series, CNBC TV 18 Deepti Bhatani and Arundhati Ramanan bring us a ground report from Jalgao in Telangana. In the state of Telangana, out of 450 mandals, 231 have been declared drought hit. However, on ground, the picture may be worse, according to various farmers' associations. A state synonymous as Annapurna, rice bowl of India, is now seeing the production of paddy falling drastically. For instance, B. Narasimha has two acres of farmland in Kalem village in Jangao, dedicated to paddy cultivation. However, this year, with water levels dropping and bore wells drying up, Narasimha could sow paddy only on half acre. He says this is the same story across his village. I had two acres in which I used to sow paddy every year. This year, with water scarcity, I sowed only half acre, hoping that it will feed my family. It is the same situation everywhere. What is also alarming is the rate at which rice mills are shutting down in Telangana. The state had 2,500 rice mills and 1,000 of them have shut down in just the last two months. These mills are primary suppliers to government for rice under PDS. The state requires 18 lakh tons of rice and rice mills could supply only 9 lakh tons. With shortage of paddy production and increasing costs to maintain the mills, owners feel they are better off shutting the mills down. Speaking to us, the president of Rice Millers Association, P. Balaya, says the industry which invests a minimum of 10 crore rupees to set up a mill is now facing an uncertain future. He adds that at least 75,000 people are directly or indirectly employed through rice mills. Broad conditions are there. This is only 40 to 50 percent production is only paddy production since last one year. This is also main reason for the shutdown of the mills. The state had sought 3,064 crore rupees from the central government for drought relief, but the centre has only agreed to 791 crore rupees. Farmers' organisations are concerned that this would have an impact on the next crop as well. While the drought conditions in the state are alarming, the concern right now on the hand is the falling production in food grains, especially in paddy. With being an intensive crop, the government machinery needs to pull it a sack together to at least be able to save the next crop. From Kallam in Telangana, Deepti Bhattini.